All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Kruger Show with a little 49er draft video. And, of course, check out Pig and a Pickle. Two locations there in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week in Marin County. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Well, the NFL draft is fast approaching. April 27th, 28th, and 29th is the 2023 NFL draft. And one of the most intriguing subplots of the upcoming draft is is going to be the 49ers quarterback position. And what they do in the draft is absolutely going to have a significant impact on what they do going forward. And what do you say? Well, what does that mean? There's an awful lot of people talking about the Niners situation at quarterback saying, well, you know what? You can never have enough good quarterbacks. So, you know what? Yeah, you got Brock Purdy and he might get healthy and you got Trey Lance and you got uh, Sam Darnold, but they're looking at Dorian Thompson Robinson and bring him in too. And there's a lot of people who are just going, they can't trade Trey Lance and they should bring in Dorian Thompson Robinson. Um, and I would basically push back a little bit and just say, Hey guys, the re there's only certain realities of this situation. And let's go through it for a second. The 49ers have three quarterbacks on their active roster. They had three quarterbacks last year on their active roster. They some teams go with two. No teams in the NFL go with four. Nobody has four quarterbacks on the active roster. So basically, I'll just lay it out there this way. What does it mean if the 49ers draft a rookie quarterback in the draft this year? It means one of two things. It means Brock Purdy is likely out for the year or much of the year and is likely not going to play at all this year or going to play very, very little. Or B, Trey Lance has already been traded or is on the verge of being traded. Now, why do I say that? Well, the 40, the way this thing works is you can have you, you have three quarterbacks on your roster. Um, it, it, nobody can have four. There's no room on a 53-man roster for, for you to have four. So let's just say the 49ers draft – and let's just say for the sake of it, it's Dorian Thompson Robinson. They've already met with the UCLA quarterback three times. And we'll get into what I think they like about him. But they've met with him three times. Um, he cannot, they cannot draft him and then have Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, and Sam Darnold, and Dorian Thompson Robinson on the roster. Can't happen. Dorian Thompson Robinson would have to be placed on the practice squad. To get to the practice squad, you have to be waived. There's no chance in hell that the 49ers are going to draft Dorian Thompson Robinson or any quarterback in round three, round four, round five. Heck, even in the in the later rounds, they're not going to draft a quarterback in April and then put him in through waivers for the rest of the league to claim in August. It's just not going to happen. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't draft a quarterback and then put that same quarterback through waivers. But if you're going to have them on your practice squad, that's the only way it's done. So then there's, well, you know, Brock might go on on uh, PUP. Okay, that buys you four weeks. Then you're still going to have to waive your third-round pick, Dorian Thompson-Robinson, or your fifth-round pick, Clayton Toon, or your sixth-round quarterback, hand-picked quarterback, Max Duggan or or your fifth round hand picked quarterback Jake Hayner, you're waving that guy in week four when he when Brock comes off the PUP. So that ain't happening. Well, what if you put Brock on the IR? Okay, now you bought yourself six weeks. They're not going to be cutting the quarterback that they just drafted six weeks later. We say, well, maybe they'll draft an un, a, a lesser quarterback. They like the kid Bonner from Utah State. At this juncture. Any after the 49ers drafted Brock Purdy last year and what Brock Purdy turned into, any quarterback that they draft this year, we, that's going to be noticed by the rest of the league. And if they try to sneak that quarterback or any quarterback through waivers, any rookie quarterback, the odds of that quarterback getting claimed are incredibly high. So basically, they're not going to be able to squeeze a rookie quarterback through waivers. So this idea that they're going to be able to have DTR on the practice squad while also having Darnold and Lance and Purdy, 
that's 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 misinformed. That there's no way that's going to happen. There's no way that can happen. So what does it really mean if they draft a rookie quarterback? It means one of two things. Brock's done for the year and they're going to go with Lance and Darnold and a rookie. Or um or Trey Lance has already been dealt by the time they draft this rookie quarterback or he's going to be dealt in a very short amount of time. So most teams go with two or three quarterbacks on their 53-man roster. Nobody ever goes with four quarterbacks. Um, the 49ers are not going to draft a quarterback in rounds three, four, five, six, or seven and then waive him in August or September. That makes zero sense. So if you say to me, what do you think is going on here? I think the 49ers um, are going with Brock Purdy, as they said, are hoping that he gets healthy. But I don't think the trade of Trey Lance is contingent on Brock Purdy. I think they have they have they've you know given themselves another option in Sam Darnold. I think you've got Matt Ryan, who's a phone call away if you want to go the veteran route. There's other veterans like Cousins and Rodgers and so on and so forth that are out there that could be acquired via trade. But I don't think that's the route they're going. I think they want a cheap quarterback room. If they go veteran, they could go for Matt Ryan as a stopgap. But if you said to me, what is it? What makes the most sense? The most sense is that they're they brought in Darnold. There's all kinds of talk that they're shopping Trey Lance, and now they're looking hard at some rookie quarterbacks. They had Hayner in in Santa Clara at their facility for the local pro day. Uh, they've met with DTR three times, and you know what? That could be a smokescreen. If you said to me, "Is the DTR meetings um, is that showing their cards, or is that a smokescreen?" I think with some positions, it might be showing your cards. With quarterback, as much as it typically means to these teams, as and as important as that position really is, I would guess DTR meetings. The fact that that's become public is a smokescreen. So if you say, "What do you think makes the most sense?" I think the 49ers are going to draft Clayton Toon or Jake Hayner or Max Duggan. And I don't think Brock Purdy's out for the year. I think Brock Purdy's probably coming back. But I think they're going to draft one of those three quarterbacks and they're going to wind up trading Trey Lance. And I do believe it's going to happen during the draft. I don't believe that they're waiting for Brock Purdy to get healthy before making a trade for Trey Lance. I think that there's clearly compensation that they would take for Trey Lance that they would be willing to part with Trey Lance for that that I believe they're going to get in an offer so what kind of offer is it going to be late first that seems a little high maybe if it was Trey and a player for a late first Trey and some conditional picks for a late first I don't think Trey on his own gets the Niners a late first round pick I don't but I also don't believe it's a fourth round pick or a third round pick. I th- I think they could probably get number 36 or whatever it is, the high second round pick away from the Houston Texans um, in a trade for Trey Lance. I think it makes a lot of sense for the Texans. But ultimately, the, the real message in this video is what does the 49ers drafting of a rookie quarterback actually mean? It doesn't mean that it's going to be uh, Sam Darnold, Trey Lance, Brock Purdy, and DTR. There is no world where that's going to be a reality. No world that's going to happen. If you see DTR, if you see Max Duggan, if you see Jay Kaner, and and if I had to make one prediction, I'd say it's going to be Clayton Toon. If you see Clayton Toon drafted by the 49ers in any round, even if it's this kid Bonner out of Utah State, if they wind up drafting a quarterback, I think that means that either Brock Purdy's done for the year and it's going to be Trey and Darnold and that rookie quarterback, but more more than likely, I think it really means it's going to be Brock and Darnold and Clayton Toon and Trey Lance being traded. So that's my read on it. I think there's an awful lot of people talking about this quarterback situation, but hardly any of them ever throw out the distinction of what a rookie quarterback addition would really mean for the team. And what it really means for the team is that it's either a bad omen on Brock Purdy's health or a bad omen on Trey Lance's long-term future with the 49ers. 
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed our 49er video. Uh, we're going to find out the answer one way or another in the next few days with the draft approaching. We cannot wait for that. Make sure you keep it locked on the Krug Show for all of your top-tier 49er coverage through the draft right into training camp. Um, and thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being a proud sponsor of the Krug Show.